Hi friends, good afternoon everyone. So come join with me in my simple cooking. So I'm going to make beef puchero. So I slice the beef into big portion. Let's say uh, three by three slices into big, I mean in cubes. And I have here whole large of uh, white cooking onions i quartered it i am going to cook this into my uh, pressure cooker i will be adding salt first a little bit of salt and then i will add this um, white onions and then add the beef i will add black pepper and then cover it with water so set that aside and we're going to cover that with our uh, lid uh, towards the left and i'm going to plug that on to the source by the wall so make sure this one points towards you Okay, so I'm going to plug this into the source. There you go, and set that for, let's say, 30 minutes. Set that aside until the beef is soft and tender. So, friends, for our beef pochero, these are the ingredients. I have here red russet potatoes, and I slice it big, same as the carrots. There should be uniformity of slices when you cook. These are my ripollo or green cabbage, and my bok choy or pet chai. I will be adding plantain bananas. These are sweet plantain bananas in equivalency to our sagging saba back home in the philippines hi everyone so our beef beef cubes uh they are soft and tender already f cooking for let's say how many minutes 30 minutes in our pressure cooker so there you go So set this aside for now. Okay, here in my cooking pot, I am going to add approximately um, five tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and we're going to saute our spices. There you go. Now, for our savory enhancers, I will be adding beef powder broth, salt and patis or fish sauce a combination of uh, this three and then black pepper and also this um, tomato paste or you know tomato sauce you can you can use tomato sauce or tomato paste since i'm going to use lots and lots of tomatoes so for our spices we're going to saute that with white cooking onions lots and lots of ginger um, i use one head of fresh cloves of garlic and three large roma tomatoes i will just be combining everything all at once for our spices once our oil is ready and then for the rest of our ingredients i'm going to add some potatoes some carrots and then plantain bananas this will serve us our mm, sweet uh sweet thing into our beef puchero and we have here green beans or baguio beans and i have here my green cabbage and also this bok choy or pet chai so this is my green cabbage there you go friends remember friends cooking and baking they're always make fun and easy here at our little kitchen Thus, it gives you the ideas on what to prepare for your family's next meal. My simple goal in the kitchen is simply for fun, sharing, and learning. So once our oil, they're heated up. 
so we'll just combine you can also try to uh, saute that having the onion first ginger and garlic but i just want to add everything all at once We will saute this good for three minutes until all the spices are combined and infused all together wonderfully. Lots and lots of ginger. You have the option not to add ginger if you want. So I'm going to add beef powder broth and also this to me, uh, salt. Adding salt and pepper, it depends upon your taste buds, friends. And also uh, black pepper. And patis or fish sauce. Whatever savory enhancer you are accustomed to, you can always go ahead. I'll just add a little bit because I savor the, this with a scene or salt and uh, one whole onion and I quartered it so that it will become flavorful. Set this aside for another two minutes. Friends, for the substitution of our cooking bananas, these bananas are sweet, these are plantain bananas, you can use saging saba. Back home in the Philippines, we have abundant supply of saging saba. These are ripe bananas. There you go, after this one, friends, I'm going to add uh, my beef. Okay, there you go. And we're going to add our tomato paste or tomato sauce. If you don't have uh, tomato sauce or tomato paste, you can use ketchup. Okay, friends, I am using over medium flame and I will, aside from having that tomato sauce, I'm going to add uh, ketchup, tomato ketchup. Maybe one cup. I'm just uh, doing it in an approximate basis. A little bit more. there you go and bring it to a boil friends and cover it this is the type of ketchup i use this is a very good brand of ketchup i love this i want to make sure that my rice is ready perfecto i am using over medium flame okay there you go friends it's about time we are going to add our potatoes and our carrots because they are of the same texture and hardness and set this aside until the potatoes and the carrots are soft and tender So give a little stir. So maybe three minutes. So depending upon the fire or the flame that you are using. Set this aside and cover it and be back shortly. 
Okay, let's check. Hmm. This is very aromatic. <laughs> okay, friends, it's about time that I am going to add my plantain bananas into our mixture. Give a little stir and cook this for another three minutes until bananas are soft and tender. Cover it and set this aside. Okay, let's check. <laughs> so bananas are soft and tender. It's cooked already. So mix it slowly and slowly but surely and then it's about time that we're going to add our green beans and cook our green beans for one minute set this aside and cover it back Okay, friends, after one minute, because I don't want my veggies to be overly cooked. So there you go. I want to add now. It's about time that we're going to add our green cabbage. This green cabbage, uh, it's hard. Like the leaves or the part of the cabbage, they're uh, hard than the normal cabbage I use, which is the uh, Taiwanese cabbage so we'll just cook the cabbage for one minute before we are going to add our our bok choy or napa cabbage so just simply try to uh, dredge the cabbage into the sauce and set this for one more minute not long <laughs> So look at the potatoes, the sagging plantain. So set this aside and cover it. Set this aside for one minute and be back. There you go, friends. So for our finishing touches, let us add our bok choy or our pet chai. So just slowly, slowly, but surely when you mix it, there should be love within yourself and uh, the family that you cared for <laughs> will enjoy the freshness and the taste the tastiness the tasty of your um of your cookings so let's add our bok choy or pet chai so just dredge it slowly slowly but surely so once again wonderful friends thank you very much for watching arnie's kitchen and food creations so this is our beef pochero maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat thank you very much and i hope you enjoy the freshness and the tasty food that i'm sharing with you i hope you will also find some time in uh, cooking this type of food you may omit the beef if you're a vegetarian then substitute that with tokwa or tofu or gluten but make sure that you have uh, to fry pan fried your gluten or sitan Okay, there you go. I'll have to turn off the flame and voila. Maraming salamat po uli sa inyo. And this is the outcome or the output of our beef pochero. So the, the potatoes, the carrots, and um, the sagging, <laughs> our plantain bananas the spices, the green beans. Okay, there you go.